heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? All right, man. So I was just looking on a few different websites and I was looking at some heavyweight boxing rankings, um, checking out box rec. And I know box rec to have their own little algorithm, the way they put together these, uh, rankings, they have a point system. Totally understand that. But one name that just kind of jumped out at me, usually box rec in their rankings, there's a lot of names that have jump out at you in their top 10 for different divisions. But one the one name was uh Adam Konowski, number 10. Um he had a very good win over Arthur Spilka. He stopped him. Um good performance, man. Good pressure fighter likes to come forward. As far as putting him on TV, I mean, either he's you know, he's there to knock you out or get knocked out. That's the type of style that he fights in. Um controlled aggression, though, he just just isn't completely wild. You know, he does control uh, the way he fights, but he wants to get it close quarters and let his hands go. Not really going to jump out at you with uh, over the top hand speed or anything like that, but he damn good body puncher, relentless type of fighter. I like him, you know what I mean, for up and coming fighter. But they have him at number 10 here on Box Rec. So then you can see who's else. Joshua, number one. They got Pavekin at number two, three, Wilder, four, Pulev, Ortiz, number five, six, Brown. Seven Parker, eight Charles Martin, nine Christian Hammer. And then uh I'ma just keep this video on Konowski. I can there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about just looking at that 10, but we'll just keep this video short. And then I was looking at uh ESPN's ranking, and they also have them at number 10. And this is their newest rankings from a few days ago. So Good for Adam Konowski, man, getting some recognition from Box Rick and for, uh, from, from ESPN, man, H having him in, in their top 10 heavyweights. Um, if I had to put together the top 10 heavyweights, I probably wouldn't have Adam in my top 10. Definitely top 20, I would have him in the top 20. But, yeah, I thought 10, you know, that's good for him, man. But by, by the sanctioned bodies, he isn't rated by any of the sanctioned bodies yet. Uh, as far as in their top 15, the closest is the WBC. I believe he's number 16 by the WBC. And here's the ESPN's uh, top 10. They got Joshua number one. They got Wilder number two, three Ortiz, four Parker, five Pulev, six uh, Ruiz Jr., seven Dillian White, eight Dominic Brazil, nine Jarrell Miller, ten Konowski. Konowski and Miller would be a damn good fight. Them dudes are actually pretty good friends, man. Both from Brooklyn, grew up in the same gym. For the most part, they sparred hundreds of rounds with each other, man. That would be a vicious war if they were to fight. You never know, man. You never know. That's why friendships sometimes in boxing, man, especially when you're in the same division or you may came up through the same gym or something like that, or you may got to get in there and fight them. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, because on this one, they have uh, Miller, number nine, Konowski, number 10. And then on the uh, box rack, I believe they had Miller, number 11. Yeah, Miller, number 11, Konowski, number 10. Man, so they're kind of next to each other in those rankings. Transnational boxer rankings, I was looking at theirs earlier. They don't have Konowski in their 10. Um, I definitely have Takam in here somewhere in the, in the top 10. I haven't done a rankings in a while. It's been some months. I think last time I did a rankings was... a shit the beginning of the year probably i think i'm not sure maybe I, I i don't know i haven't done one in a while though um yeah uh, konowski let me see the wbc yeah number 16 by the wbc lucas brown right there he's back in the mix miller both those guys are back in the wbc rankings but anyways, man, what do you guys think about Adam Konowski being uh, number 10 by ESPN and by uh, Box Rec? What do you guys think about that, man? Well, this is the WBO rankings. Yeah, he's not rated by any of the sanction. About as far as top 15, he's not. But uh, what do you guys think about that, man? Do you think he is on verge to being a top 10 heavyweight? Or do you think the young kid, or he's not a kid, but the young up-and-coming heavyweight, do you think he is a... Um, like I said, do you think he's on his way to being a top 10 heavyweight? Or do you think he is a top 10 heavyweight right now? I know none of the sanctioned bodies have him in there, but 
Hell, I mean, ESPN has them at top 10, and BoxRec has them top 10. Um, like I said, if I was putting together a rankings, he wouldn't crack my top 10. There's, that's, that's no shade on him. Um, I just think a guy like uh, Carlos Takam should be probably rated above him. Uh, Jarrell Miller, um, Dominic Brazil, and I'm just looking at the uh, box rec. You know, Dominic Brazil, I think, is should, should be rated higher. Ruiz Jr. should be rated higher. At this point, uh, Carlos Takam, Dillian White, yeah, these are guys that box rec do not have in their top 10, but they have uh, Konowski in it. And I know Konowski, he beat Spilka. He also beat uh, XL Holmes. Um, Joshua Tufty. Let's just look. Yeah, Exo Holmes. He has a Jamal Woods win. Wood, you know, Woods is a is a good journeyman fighter. Give your prospect a lot of problems. Um, Pereira was a uh, Olympian, I believe, for Ecuador. Um, he fought. I've seen it. I've seen. Uh, he fought Dueco before, but Pereira was a uh, Olympian. Tufty, yeah, was a good. Uh, it's a decent heavyweight here in America, and he stopped Tufty early, so that was a good, impressive win, and then the win over uh, Spilka. So, but you guys, let me just think in the comment section, man. I'm out.